everybody, welcome back to JTP, and today I'm doing my 2022 set of predictions now. Sorry if I haven't uploaded in some time, so yeah. Um, and if you can like and subscribe, thank you, and yeah, thanks. Um, and before we start, um, let's go to the redistricting, um, map. Let's go, okay. Uh, Alright, so... Florida is approved. DeSantis pretty much striked the strike in, made the map. And Republicans did really well, I would say. Plus four Republican ruling districts. And they could pick they will pick up they could pick up Charlie Chris C, the former Republican, who beat traded Republicans. They will probably take the seventh district. Seventeenth, I'm sorry. Um and yeah, Republicans are doing pretty well in Florida. Um, but in the uh, 2022 generic vote, um, they also are doing really well. And I do think that the midterms would be really good for Republicans. Now, um, looking at the favorability ratings, Trump is pretty much doing really good compared to President Biden, Vice President Harris. Um, and if you look at this graph, you can see um, since um, President Biden's inaugur hold up since his inauguration, how the disapproval has been dropping, 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 and now is at a night plus three point five. I mean, with the fact it used to be plus twenty, it's now plus three point five. Um, so yeah, now let's start the Senate prediction. Uh, Idaho, Utah, all of these states. I do think Missouri as well. Alabama, Kentucky, Rand Paul, Utah Young, I do think. And Tim Scott, um, Oregon, California, Illinois, Maryland, Connecticut, Vermont, New York. Oh yeah, Republicans would probably take Iowa. I would say this could very much happen. And Hawaii, safe Democrat, now likely states. Florida, a really trending Republican state. And North Carolina, do I think there was a poll? Um, but it was up, what, seven? If I could get it, alright. Against Beasley, look at this. Plus seven. Wow. Yeah, so I do think with trends in the North Carolina, I do think it would go likely. And Alaska, uh, same. And in Ohio, Trump endorsed J.D. Vance. I do think he would win with a likely. In Wisconsin, um, if we go to the Senate elections in Wisconsin, um, you can see Ron Johnson won with around three. And look at these areas. I mean, some of these areas were where Trump won, and he could possibly even do better in Racine and Kenosha. I do think if he does better in all these areas, he could win with a likely and with the trends. Now, with Democrats, they have Washington, Colorado, and yeah. These states are pretty much Democrat. Washington, I think there was a poll or polls, whatever, having um, Patty Murphy, or sorry, uh, Patty Murray, the senator of Washington, um, below 15. In Colorado, I do think Bennett will win. If you go to Colorado, um, he won around six. And look at these. Um, Colorado is pretty much heavily trending blue, and I do think. Uh, against all the national environment, Colorado will stand still as a democratic state. Um, yeah, now in um, leaning states, Georgia, I do think would go leaning. Uh, if we go to here, let me find that poll. Walker's up with four. And I think if you go to the RCP average, um, they're up with like 1.3 now. To be, look at this map in Georgia before. It used to be heavily red. Look at this. Now, 40 or how much years? Uh, I'm sorry, it's so like six years? Yeah, it's gonna be six years after. And it's gonna shift, like, who knows? But I do think um, um, Walker would not do as good as a sex Isaacson, but maybe this do a bit better than Trump and um, Cobb and all that. So yeah, and um, Nevada, I do think this state is a heavily trending or trending Republican. 
if you go to the polls, um, we find the polls. Black Sox up with three, and of course you're gonna see Cortez Masso plus eight. That, that's just for That's just you know you can't believe every single poll that comes out. Um, now if you go to Nevada in 2016, uh, Joe Heck won um, Re Washoe County. Um, and he did pretty well in rural, but he didn't really do good, or he didn't really do well in Clark County. That's pretty much what Republicans need to aim for. So, like, they need 30,000 more ballots in Clark, and I do think, um, they could do it, and I do think this state would go red. Um, now, this comes down to three more states. Oh, yeah, and Republicans already won, you know. They just, they just can keep the states they have now, gain one seed, they win. Or lose one seat and gain two seats. Um, but either way, even if Democrats carry Arizona, Pennsylvania, and New Hampshire, Republicans still win. Um, but what state I'm pretty sure will go red is Arizona, whether it's Branovich or, or if I pronounce that right, Branovich, or Masters, I do think this state would go red. And they could improve in Pinal and all that. Um, I do think Pennsylvania would be a very tight race. Um, some polls are having um, Fetterman in the lead, but he not, might not do good in Pennsylvania around there. Um, and if you go to predict it, um, which 2022 Senate race will be the closest? Pennsylvania is the number one. Um, right now, you, it used to be tied against Georgia and Pennsylvania. Then Georgia kind of, you know, slammed off. But anyways, it still is remaining, and I do think that is totally reasonable. I do think it could go either way, but as of this point of time, I could agree with you. Maybe for the little Democrat, but I'll just say it and tilt with everything going on. But I could definitely say it will go blue. Um, but either way, we're going to have to see what happens now. New Hampshire is a very interesting one, you know. If you go to predict it here, it used to be the bottom one, you know. Georgia and Pennsylvania used to be the, like, you know, they used to be against each other. I mean, not against each other. They used to be tight. You know, at some point, Pennsylvania would be in the lead, then Georgia, and then blah, blah, or something like that, all right? It used to be kind of tight. But then it started, New Hampshire started getting a boost, boom, boom, boom. And now, it's second. Um, And I do think that's reasonable. Now, New Hampshire, you could... Say it's a blue state. I mean, last time it's vote in blue. Who knows? But it was pretty tight. Like, here, 0 0.1. So, last elections in 2016 have been crucial. I mean, Democrats are so lucky. If I could say that, Trump was nearly about to win. And uh, he could have nearly won. And if she won, Republicans could have held the majority in the Senate right now. So, yeah. New Hampshire, it could be an interesting one. Um, in polls, um, let me find it. Uh, okay, so Hassan is, is in the lead against Fenton Smith, but against Morris, Chuck Morris is a, he Chuck Morris is up with two. Um, I do think this state would go very tight, like very very tight. They would definitely need to win. If you said it was a Democrat win. I could agree with you, or if it was a Republican win, I could agree with you. I was just able until it could it could do either way. But either way, we're just gonna have to see what happens. And yeah, this is my April twenty fourth prediction. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.